all right uh, what's going on guys uh moxification here so today uh, i'm going to show you guys um how to edit menus but like menus on like modern warfare 2 like a uh, title update 8 menus so dll's like stuff like that so um to start off you're gonna need to get um uh, where is it uh visual studio microsoft visual studio um now i'm not sure if you need you 100 percent need um 2010 but every time that um, I've been doing this type of thing. Uh, I'm not saying I'm any good at it, but like um, uh, every time that I've used it, people have said that you need 2010. Now I'm not sure. Um, I'd say definitely go for 110. Uh, sorry, not 110. 2010. Uh, if you can get 2010, but if you can't, I'm not sure. So um, you know, if anyone can correct me on that, if you 100% need 2010, um, or you can use 2012 or whatever the other editions of it are um but you can find it on the internet if you just google um microsoft visual studios 2010 uh there should be some links on there um i could just uh it is it's not difficult to find you just got to look for it for a bit and then you should be able to find it uh but yeah so uh, once you've got it once you've got it installed um you actually need you might need to um uninstall neighborhood and then reinstall it to make it work because you actually when you install neighborhood you actually you get the option um to pick from two options you've got full installation and there's another one i forget what it is but you want to install full installation and then that's going to enable you to use um visual studio so uh once you've you know got neighborhood installed like because you might have to reinstall neighborhood like i said and then you know install it um but yeah once you've done all of those things once you've got microsoft visual studio and you've got you know neighborhood back on and you know it's all uh, all working and neighborhoods working um then you want to open up um well i'm going to give a download link to a few source codes to menus because you are actually you can't just edit the dll you can't just like for example i show you this wicked mods dll uh you've got debug and then dll underscore load the dll you can't just open up the uh, dll load uh, un dll underscore load dot dll you've got to actually have the source code to the whole menu um so uh yeah and then basically all of these uh, i'll show you where it is um all of these things make up the dll so uh yeah so uh what we're going to do is to open up the actual source code to the menu you're going to open up dll underscore load dot sln uh, like i said i'll give a download link to wicked mods and a load of other ones like icon marine and all of that um, so once you've opened it up, you won't have this DLL thing. I'll exit out of that. You'll just, you'll see this. So, um, what, what you're going to look for is you're going to look for, like, source files. You're going to, you know, click the drop down box. And then you're going to search for a load of files for certain things that you're looking for. Um, I recommend actually loading up the menu so you can, like, you know, if you want to change something like shader stuff, then you can. So we'll load up the menu now. We'll go into games, uh, Modern Warfare 2. Uh, we'll get the DLL, the current DLL, which is there. And we'll load it up on Modern Warfare 2. There you go, and I'll actually, I'll make it so you guys can see what I'm doing. Alright. There you go, Modern Warfare 2 is loaded up. Uh, you just got to wait for it to show on the capture. Alright. So, uh, I'll load it up no, right now. I won't make this big screen, I'll just put it down in the bottom right we'll put the folder stuff up here all right so we'll go into the game um i'm sure that the menu will come up at some point uh, i've just got to press some buttons all right there you go so uh as you can see it, you know to open a menu is lt and rs to open the menu and then you've got lb and rb to scroll up and down um x to unlock every uh, x to go into certain things so uh when you want to change stuff what we're going to do is we're going to go to we're going to search for wicked mods mod menu as you can see right there so we're going to search for that in the menu. We're going to do Control F and do Wicked Mods Menu. There you go. And search for that. There you go. I'm sure that that's it right there. There you go. We'll, we'll minimize. Uh, right, hide. There you go. So uh, you want Wicked Mods Mod Menu. So that's in white. The text is white. That up seven is white. Um, so I'm, I'm sure that a lot of you will know this stuff already the only reason I wanted to do this video is because you know it's like it's one of those things where there's people who actually wanted to know how to do it and you know I've got to do it for them 
and then there's going to be updated tutorials on different things you know on the channel um and this is one of them so um i'll just show you now that it does change it will change the color because obviously i'm not going to take credit for the menu um i don't know we'll change the color to pink we'll do that's up six so then uh once you want to you know create the menu and you want to make another dll load we're going to do uh build and then build dll underscore load and then it's going to go through a load of processes and then you know it's going to go through all these things and then it says build one succeeded so now we can minimize out of that uh you've got that's the dll there we're going to load up neighborhood really quick one more time uh games modern warfare 2 i'm going to put that dll load in there and then launch the default minimize minimize and then we'll load up we'll, we'll not load up we'll open up the um modern warfare 2 there you go and start i am gaining system link i'm connected to live but i'm still just gaining system link um just in case the menu is unstable i'm not sure if it is or but uh yeah so i think once we get in the game it does load up all the the hud and everything there you go and then lt knife and as you can see it's pink now so uh yeah so if you want to change anything else like um i don't know we'll uh we'll go back into the the thing where is it right here so if you wanted to change like some offset uh, uh, offsets um hold on i'll show you now so we'll go into uh main menu all right uh red boxes so uh toggle red boxes so that's toggle uh, red boxes find there you go oh hide so that's toggle red boxes then you've just got to find where that is like in the menu uh, i'm not going to look for it now i'm sure that it's very close to this i'm sure that it's um most likely you know you just scroll down and you'd find it somewhere um but uh, yeah so you just it, it's just a matter of sort of working it out like I mean, right now, I'm not going to lie, I don't understand the majority of this, but at some point, I hope I do. Um, but the only way you're going to learn it is by testing it, so messing around. I mean, if you mess something up, you can easily just go, um, I don't know what I'll show you. Let's say I mess up the code, um, there, like that. Then you can just do uh, Control z Control z and then Control z and then it will go back to normal. Um, and then, you know, I mean, even, even if you built the DLL underscore load, you could still do control z and go back um but uh yeah so uh, hopefully i helped a lot of you uh, if there were a few people who requested this video um i just thought it would be a good idea to um show you guys how you would edit it um and uh yeah if anyone needs any help or whatever um i'm sure that um the people watching the video will be able to help you i might be able to help you and if i can't help you and the people you know if you comment on this video and you don't know something and you comment and no one replies i'm sure that there's people on seven sins um that could help you as well so uh yeah so that's about it um and i'm gonna do a separate video on, uh, for this menu um because i feel like i already did but i'm not sure i don't remember uh but yeah so hopefully i'll link that video in the description as well uh, so yeah that's about it uh like i said the downloads and stuff will be in the description i won't link a microsoft visual studio but i will link um a few source codes to menus i'll link a couple of seven sins posts you know wicked mods uh, icon roy um a zoobzy menu there was a superman menu that he uh, released the source for so uh, yeah that's about it thanks guys moxification and see you guys in the next video uh goodbye